let's make sesame kale chips. As you all know, store-bought kale chips can be very expensive and sometimes they have some preservatives. So why not make our own kale chips? I started with dinosaur kale leaves, but you can also use regular kale if you like. No matter which one you use, they are very delicious and very easy to make. Start off with some kale leaves and I de-stem them so I take the leaves out from the stem and the stem can be stir-fried or used for other uses. And then after that, I wash the kale in water until clean. Thoroughly wash them and wash them multiple times, making sure that they're very clean. After that, I thoroughly dry the kale and then break them into one inch to two inch pieces, making sure that that's a good bite size, chip size. After that, I season the kale with a paste containing sesame oil, sesame paste, and sesame seeds, and also seasoning like salt and peppers. And then after that, you ensure that every piece is covered in the sesame paste, massage them in, and then you put the kale on the tray, on the baking tray, on a single layer. And after that, you put it in an oven for 10 minutes at 300 degrees Fahrenheit. And then after that, shake and rotate. And depending on the temperature, you might need another 10 to 15 minutes depending on the oven. And after that, you have baked sesame kale chips freshly out of the oven. It's delicious. However, you can also change it up a little bit and using same process, but just replace the sesame paste with olive oil and parmesan cheese, again with salt and seasoning, uh, depending on taste. And then you can store your cooled kale chips in airtight containers. Delicious. However, I also like to cook with the young children. I find that children love making kale chips. It's a very easy process. So let's take a look at how they make the kale chips. So we start off with having children tearing up the kale leaves. They also can use scissors if they like. Um, it's a lot of fun. It's a great fine motor skill for a uh, practice for them. After that, I like to have a bucket of water and that they can wash the kale leaves in the water. It's a lot of fun washing leaves, leaf by leaf. And then after that, the children can dry the kale in with a salad spinner. And they love pushing the button to get the kale all dry. But to make it extra dry, it's insurance because the kale needs to be super dry. We have them wash dry it one more time with paper towel. Again, children just love this process of drying things. After that, I have them sprinkle some sesame oil. Um, that's a great process for them to massage into the oil. Then after that, uh, we put in the sesame paste. And then we also have them added on extra sprinkle of sesame seeds. Who doesn't love extra sesame seeds, right? Delicious. And after that, I have the children putting on the kale on the baking tray on a single layer, asking them to spread it out. And they love doing this process. Again, very easy, it's not heat. And then after that, we put it in the oven, bake it, and you have delicious kale chips and they're here tasting the kale chips. So thank you for watching and please like and subscribe for more videos from Learn With Song and uh, from Cooking With Song, healthy and simple snacks for children with children. Thank you.